Alright, so you think this should grab your attention? This is a good area to go to. Oh, or maybe the giant thing that says Our Lady. Maybe I should go there, huh, folks? Okay. Do it. Now! Wait, weird. It's your mother's grave. They have her preserved in an airtight chamber. Her fingerprints will get us into Comstock House. She's your mother. A mother who abandons their child doesn't draw a lot of sympathy in my book. Take a moment to think about what you're doing. There. Will you open the door, or do I have to go in without you? So, once again, interesting. The lighting is is positional. There's a, there's a lighting change based upon where you are. Um... Wait, wasn't there just equipment in here just a little while ago? I'd rather have the equipment. So every 20 seconds or so, she's going to say something. Um, like, you have to open it. Or, we need that hand to get going. I'm not going to wait for it. But... Welcome back. It's Brain Storm. Brian Storm. You see, child. You chose to follow a false shepherd, and he has led you astray. Uh, what I do, uh, I do for uh, love. Uh, uh, what liars does not cringe to see their cup and pain, stop. but spare the stop. rod, spoil the child. Uh, if you won't listen to me, perhaps you will listen to your mother. Elizabeth, are you all right? Where, where did she Just go? Hold on, you need to rest for a minute. No, I'm getting that hand. Elizabeth, why is your mother a ghost? She's not. He, he used me to, to power that device. He opened up some kind of tear. Okay. Um, so I am a gamer, a game designer, and I have also been a game tester. And I'm going to go through this game, try and provide um, some... Interesting. Okay. Uh, now, I suspect I'm going to ruin this whole fight by just using a rocket launcher. Senior mother raising the dead. Really? That's hilarious. Wow. So, huge, huge fight. Um, for some reason, I'm taking damage whenever time she does her little... We mentioned uh, the video before this. I mentioned how the layout of this map was made. Um, let's see. Anyone notice that the, that the audio background that's going on right here, even though I'm in this menu, it's supposed to give you a lot of like creep creep factor. And I know how they do that. I know the audio behind that. That's funny. I need... Where's the health packet? 
Interesting. Much obliged. Wasn't her health down in here? I'm gonna die. Do it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, let's look at my health and pay attention. Doop, 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 doop. Here you go. Thanks. Get some high ground. Can't quite tell if I'm doing any damage to her, um, or what I should be doing to hurt her. But what I do know is I'm about to die. Here, that'll do. Yeah, you need to stop shooting. Time as it truly was. What reason would grammar professors have to get out of bed? Like us all, Lady Comstock exists across time. She is both alive and dead. She perceives being both. She finds this condition disagreeable. Perception without comprehension. It's a dangerous combination. She goes to unfinished business. We have to follow her. Convince her to open the gate to Comstock House. That's fantastic. Hey, it's been a while, hasn't it? I'm standing on your head. Standing on your head. Look at me, I'm standing on your head. What's the probability of me standing on your head? What about that? Huh? You ever think about that, Ludus? Ludus? And I got my shit fucked up on that fight. So you saw almost everything that I was talking about um, before I had to fight in it um, came true. Um, also, if you think about the intensity and how difficult that fight was, it was smart to let the player um, go around and really discuss, make a mental note of like, oh yeah, there's a crank gun. Um, so these were some of the some of the decisions to to. If they, they could have made the level design 
something where you would have gone here and then been forced out and then you would have been in this big open area without any kind of preview. But I decided to let you have a preview. I want in. I want in. I don't understand what's supposed to make this open. I'm frustrated. I think I remember there's salts back here. Do it! Okay. Now I'm going to assume a lot of people are going to go back here and then, like, there's nothing to do here, so they're off they go. That's fantastic. I did not notice these beforehand. If you notice, they have to do what they can. Um, so there's a little bit of clipping, a little bit of clipping, and they just decided to go ahead and because they wanted to make it look symmetrical, especially for that scene. So the, that's a super easy decision to go ahead and make. Because um, as much as um, game designers and level designers might get annoyed with stuff like this. S seam. So Pry4, Love7, uh, there's a seam in... The but it's really hard to see it. And, uh, but testers are, are told over and over again. Frankly, she doesn't seem all that cooperative. There is a way to bring her to reason. Three truths you must discover first. Truths which, in this world, Comstock has destroyed. If only one of you had the power to alter time and space. That would be a blessing, wouldn't it? Hmm. Well, they're sarcastic. <laughs> oh, I love them. Off about Lady Comstock. Yeah, I notice. No, you don't understand. She... she doesn't belong here. I brought something through. I'm just... I'm not so sure it was her. So, and then that's the thing I've seen. I First of all, I see a culture um, among... Uh, nice. Because how difficult it is to follow this story, they're gonna they're gonna give you um, these little footsteps. Anyway, um, so what I've seen is if and, and this makes sense. Imagine if you worked your way up as. Um, I don't know, TV intern to a camera guy or whatever like that, up to like, you know, big TV producer. And then you have a TV intern um, telling you about this minor little issue that something's flickering on the side here. And um, you've been telling them over and over again, no matter what, tell us about the issue, tell us about these issues. And yet um, when they do, they get negative reinforcement uh, culturally and also sometimes directly um, because um, they don't know any better about when they should um, they should or should not bug something. And of course the golden rule is you should always bug it. Um, but the problem comes when there isn't any time to fix it. And so you end up having, having this... Um, you end up seeing a lot of the time um, game industry people, no matter how cool they are, get a little frustrated when um, when uh, they see a bug that near the end of a shipping cycle of, of a game there's just no chance that it's gonna um, this bug is so inconsequential and there's just no chance for it to ever be fixed hi guys so I'm actually low on um, pistol ammo
So, um, here's why it's a bad thing when testers realize that they shouldn't be. Um, by the way, notice here's that same door I saw, I found earlier, but now the 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 gate is off of it and it can be um, lock picked. Um, anyway, is when you think you know you've you've been around as a tester long enough that you shouldn't be um, bugging something because it's just not going to get fixed. It's too late in the in the game cycle. Um, look, there's all kinds of doors that are now open. Um, and turns out, um, it turns out there was a, there was, it's an issue that might have been actually desired to have been fixed. So then you're caught in this catch-22 where, um, you're wasting the developer's time, and it does take time. Every time any bug goes goes in, somebody's got to review it. Even if it's a uh, you know a test manager, the test manager's got to take his time out of his day, um, or test liaison sometimes, um, or just to review it. And I feel bad for test managers and test liaisons that are probably the hardest working people in the game industry, in my opinion, um, hands down the most stressed out and the hardest working people. Um, I see certain other departments um, people go home all the time uh, when there's other departments that are like the test department um, that stay very late and work very hard. There you go. Actually, I think I might be out of time here. I have no idea. My um, batteries on my phone which I use for my timer, have died. So I might call it good. Oh, I was hoping to see something ridiculous um, on this globe. Something that would be very 1910, 1912. Anyway, that's my little rant about that. This is a whole level, and I think I'm just going to call it good at this point. Um, that's neat. A little lockpick right behind the window, the door. Um, and I'll leave it on that note that, that testers always should bug everything, but there is sometimes when um, you need to be paying attention, um, especially if you've been told um, if you've been told something's not an issue, um, then don't say it's an issue. If, if the person who... Um, who's been in the industry for eight, nine years, uh, who knows how much they have to get done in the next four or five months. So they have an, they have an idea of the overall schedule of the game. Um, and you don't know necessarily the overall schedule of the game. Don't, don't send back a bug about some um, crack in a wall or anything like that. Unless the player can fall out of the universe... Unless there's some kind of exploit, especially if it's a multiplayer game and it's a competitive kind of game that depend that needs its multiplayer to be taken care of. Um. Huh. That's unresolved. That's interesting. So if anyone remembers I shot that guy there, and look, this didn't ever get resolved. It, it never cleaned up. So this this thing is just going on and on and on again.